So I'm old enough to remember the Arab oil embargo, okay. where the price of gas went very high. Mm -hmm. Only after then did people start buying lockable uh, gas caps. Right. Because people would come in in the dark of night, undo your gas cap, and siphon, siphon out gas. Siphon your gas. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Change the world. What a world we live in. I know, you right? You can't even have a tank of gas. Ain't that something? Ain't that's that just, something? Right. So I just thought I would describe the, the principle behind a siphon. Okay. It's become clear to me that most people have no idea how and why it works. All right. They know how to make how to make it happen. Right. But they don't know what's going on. Okay. Okay. Right. They just know you put a hose in. Right. You, you, you suck, suck on it. Suck on it. And you end up stealing somebody's gas. Right. And right. and with a taste of gasoline in your mouth. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> mm. So we're we're gonna do that experiment. Okay. And I have here a vessel of dark red liquid. Mm. Red liquid that was once water at a wedding. <laughs> yes. So I want to get s some of this liquid into, into this glass. Okay. Without actually pouring, pouring it. Okay. So this is some inaccessible place, right? Gotcha. It's some place. I can definitely get a hose to it. Right. But I can't otherwise tip this into the glass. Okay. So this is why you bring out a siphon. Right. Okay. Like if it was in a barrel of wine. A barrel. Yeah, you, know, you can't pick up. You can't the, pick up the pick barrel up, and pour it. You can pick, okay. So. What I've got now is a hose. Okay. This is just a simple, it's right. like a refrigerator, you know, the, the hose that brings water to the yes. ice maker. Right. The, Not the strip club kind. The hose is in the strip club? <laughs> <laughs> there are indeed hoes in the strip oh, club. Oh, oh. <laughs> Chuck. <laughs> Chuck. So I'm gonna blow through this, just confirm that it's a open hose. It is. Oh, look mm -hmm. at that, nice. Very cool. Okay, so we got, so it's, it's just a hose. Right. That's all it is. That's it. But it's, the hose is, uh, no air can get in the hose, except through an end. Through an end. That matters. So I did this a lot when I was a kid. You'd have a straw and you have a drink. You put your straw in your drink and put your, your finger at the top. Right. The liquid can't come out the bottom because to do so would create a vacuum above it. Right. And it's not gonna do that. It's not gonna do that. It's not gonna do that. Okay. Okay, so do that with my finger. There it is. Look at that. So now I'm gonna suck on it. Right. And we'll, we say to ourselves, because it's our life experience, we're sucking the liquid out of the container. Right. But what's actually happening is uh -huh. I'm reducing the pressure of air inside the straw and air pressure, atmospheric pressure, is pushing pressing down it on back the rest. Up. Otherwise, it's all in equilibrium. Right. The pressure pressing down on the straw, in an open straw, will equal any pressure on the surface of the liquid that's trying to send it back up. Gotcha. That's all. That's it. That's how that works. Now, how much pressure is that? It's nearly 15 pounds per, per square, square inch. inch. Let me put higher than atmospheric pressure on the top of this vase. There it is. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that! That's so cool! Yeah, so now, if I put a bend in it, and I let go of my air trap, what happens to the liquid? Well, this part should definitely fall back inside. At least this part at here. At least that part there. But since we know that it won't make a vacuum, then it should pull the rest of it it's, with it. It should pull everything with it. Right. Right. So it'll do that as long as this is above the level of that line. Okay. I claim that all of this liquid will stay together. And get pulled back into the container. pulled back in. Okay. okay. All right. Here all we right. go. Let's see it. Let's try it. Okay. Oh, oh. Yes, there it is. That it did. It left a little behind oh, there, yeah, but that's yeah, fine. A little air bubble in okay. there. That's cool. All right, so now the question is what happens if that spot gets below the level of the liquid? Then we get into the siphon universe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Let's try this again. Ready? Here we go. So I'm here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now am I below the level of the liquid? Yes, now you are. So this length of liquid... 
right, is more than this length of liquid. Absolutely. And it is going to go in this direction instead of back in. Right. Because of that vertical length that it that it, yeah. we have given it. Okay. So here we go. Let's try it. Whoa. Look at that. Look at that. There it is. There it is. We are siphoning out of this. And so now the atmosphere of colored water is just <laughs> colored water. Yeah. The it's just pushing down. Okay. Yes. But. And it's not. Okay. And okay. It's not, it's not gravity. It has nothing to do okay. with any of that. It's well, well, so so there's the weight of the column of liquid right. that's pulling, pulling down. That. Okay. Right. All right. And so that's going to matter. It's going to continue to matter. Wow, look at that. Until the moment these two levels are equal, the siphoning will stop. I they're think they even. stopped. They're even. Yes, they're even. Look at that. Let's verify how even they are. Oh, Whoa! oh, oh that's okay. Oh, 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 that's all right, though. Up, up. Yeah, I broke. I, but, but let's see where they even. Yeah, they're yeah, exactly they're even. even. Look at that. Exactly. See that? Even. That's great. There it was. And now this will just go all back in, and we are good. If you try to pull gasoline out of a car, right. not, that we're, not that we're advising. No, I was going to say we're not going <laughs> to. Don't do that. <laughs> don't, try. Don't, don't try that. <laughs> if you were to do it, right. your receptacle has to be lower, lower than, the, than gas the gas tank. tank. It's got to be on the ground. Right. The gas tank's pretty low. Right. All right? You can't just fill something up up here. Right. It's got to be so that the hose, the length of the hose outside the gas tank is longer than the hose that's inside the gas tank. And then that will bring it out. Gotcha. Yeah. That's cool. So when I think of siphon, I think of a squid. Squid? A squid pulls in water and then fills a chamber inside and then pushes out through a smaller opening that mm -hmm. it pulled it in and... <laughs> Squirts it out. Yeah, and that's why they, you see them just like, whew, they yeah. move so quickly. Yeah. And they that's called the siphon on a squid. Who calls it a siphon? Whoever named a squid a squid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That person I, called it a siphon. All right, I, then they have redefined the word for their purposes. But in the world of physics, that is not that's a siphon. That's not a siphon. No, it's not. No. So when Th you that's propulsion. That's propulsion. Yeah. So what they did was they have a column of liquid. Right. And if you squeeze it right. rapidly, by squeezing it, you're putting it through a smaller opening, opening. And the liquid wants to move. And there's something called the conservation of mass through uh, of, of mass flow. So and this works in traffic too. You, you ever notice you're 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 funneling to a tunnel, let's right. say. You have yeah. like eight lanes. Right. And you go real slow. Right. And then finally when you're two lanes, you speed, you speed up. Speed up. We have a lot of mass moving slowly. Right. And then less mass moving quickly. Right. The total rate of mass flow is the same. It's the same. Outside the tunnel and inside the tunnel. That's cool. So if you only have two lanes, you have to be moving faster. Right. To maintain to the, maintain flow. the okay. flow. So the same in the squid, you have a certain amount of volume of liquid. Right. And if you want to send it in this direction faster, you squeeze it, it comes out a smaller, smaller hole. hole. It'll move faster, faster through, through the smoke. The... Okay? So that's just propulsion. And that'll give you propulsion. Not a siphon. It has nothing to do with anything we just did on this table. So that was a, a siphon lesson. It, there it is. That's what siphoning is. And make sure you do it with red liquid. <laughs> <laughs> if you really want to have fun. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. This is another Star Talk explainer with the one and only Chuck Nice. <laughs> we'll see you again next time.